talk about our talk of the tape. When will stocks stabilize? Are they in the process of doing that? Is tomorrow morning's jobs report the key? Do we have to wait for earnings next week or even beyond that? Let's ask the Wharton School professor, Jeremy Siegel. He joins us once again from Philadelphia. Professor, welcome back. It's always good to see and talk to you. Good to see you, Scott. You know, market's changing, um, and a lot of people are concerned that we're in the process of moving lower because rates continue to move higher. How concerned are you right now? Well, I think there should be no question now that the, the Fed should be done. Uh, I mean, we've had almost 50 basis points of tightening uh, on the long end since the last meeting. And by the way, tightening on the long end, a 25 basis point increase on the long end, is far more powerful at uh, restraining spending than at the short end. So, uh, you know, and given the uncertainties, you know, again, another, you know, they're going to have the meeting November 1st, two weeks later, another potential government shutdown, UAW, you know, all those uncertainties on, on top of that. Now, all that said, the real economy is still, you know, going like fire. Uh, Goldman Sachs is near 4% on third quarter. Uh, the Atlanta Fed GDP now is near 5%, and we haven't seen these figures for a long time. So the, the economy is chugging, and, and that's one of the major reasons why yields are going up, is because strong economic growth does make for higher yeah. yields. But uh, clearly, uh, you know, there's a lot of things out there that can trip things up. Yeah, but what happens if rates keep chugging higher? For, for whatever reason, you could say, well, because the economy's good. Obviously, there's a lot of focus on the deficit the amount of supply coming on the market, whether there's going to be enough buyers out there. Uh, what if they keep chugging higher? Well, again, it, it depends on why they keep chugging higher. I mean, if, if, if growth looks stronger, then earnings will keep up with those higher rates. Right now, we have the uh, S&P selling for 17 times next year's earnings. I mean, to me, that is a very, very good price. X-Tech you're selling at 14 times earnings. Um, Europe is selling at 10 to 11 times earnings. I mean, you know, you know, a lot of these high rates are already discounted in the price of stocks. And, uh, you know, it's my thesis that we should be in the, the high teens, if not 20, for the P.E. ratio. So right now, uh, you know, given, you know, the, the nearly 10 percent correction, I don't think we've quite got that far. I, I like stocks right now. Well, wow. interesting to hear you say it. You know, you think that the multiple deserves to be high, um, maybe even a little higher than it is now. But how then do you justify what some have said it is an easy market to decipher? We are no longer in a QE environment. We're in a QT environment. Rates going up. That, for, and for that reason, this multiple can't be, can't be justified in, in any way, shape, or form, especially against a backdrop, Professor, in which earnings expectations may be a bit ahead of themselves. Well, but, you know, the truth of the matter is, is that, uh, we, you know, we will see, you know, the third quarter earnings coming out soon. But uh, 2024 earnings are basically holding up better than average uh, over the year, where they usually do come down. Uh, so, you know, right now, you know, I, I think the Fed has to be very sensitive. I mean, there's no question with mortgage rates near eight. Well, I, I don't want to be in the housing sector. We've seen what happened at REITs. Uh, again, the regional banks, the Fed has got to be getting a lot of phone calls. Jay Powell's getting a lot of phone calls from the home builders, those who want mortgages, uh, the banks. Um, I, you know, I think we have seen the high of Fed funds. What I hope for is that if we do see a slowdown, and I'm not saying we're we're going to, but the Fed is just as nimble at reducing those rates as it surged rates in in 2023. Um, and if they are, then we've got that cushion with a reasonable P.E. ratio. I think stocks do end higher than they are right now mm. on December 31st.